I have uh, screwed up. I'm not afraid to admit it. I've screwed up quite badly. This number should say three on it. Instead, it says minus one. To understand the source of my misery, you can kind of see this. This is our website here, our docs website. Uh, we're importing add from Map Poker UK Maths, and we're getting add one, two. That should say three, but it says minus one on it. This repo here is pretty simple, really. It's just a Next.js app. Um, we've just got some dependencies. The one dependency we've got is really Map Pocket UK Maths. And that is actually coming from another repo. Maths is in this repo. We've got an index.ts file that we're actually bundling with TS up and formatting it into some kind of index.js files, which we're then publishing up to NPM. And if we look inside here, Ah, add is subtracting and subtract is adding. Okie dokie. Okay, so to get this working, we're going to have to release a new version of this package up to NPM. We're then going to have to go into our other repository, change the dependency we have on map.cock UK maths, reinstall that, that will change the package lock JSON, and then we can redeploy. Or, you know, and hear me out here, we could move both of these repositories together into the same repository so that we didn't have to do this like publish version thing. The best way to do this is with npx create turbo. Let's run this and we're okay to proceed. Now we're gonna create our new turbo repo. So my mono repo, let's say we want pnpm because that's nice and fancy. And this is gonna give us like way more stuff than we need. Okay, now we can see what we've got. We've got an apps docs and an apps web. Uh, and I think we can just delete both of these because we're not going to need them. We've also got a UI package inside here, which we can delete. Let's start by adding our maths package into our packages. I've also just removed the packages maths git folder, making sure that it uses the main mono repos git instead of its own little sub module. We should also remove the lock file from in here because it's not going to use this lock file. It's actually going to use the one at the root. And now let's run pnpm install just to make sure all of our dependencies and all of the workspaces are up to date. I've now copied over the docs folder as well so I can get rid of this lock file and also make sure that the git is no longer there as well. I'm now gonna look inside the package.json of my docs folder here and I can see that Matt Pocock UK Maths is in here. This one now is going to use the actual local version of Matt Pocock UK Maths. That means it's not going to have to go up into the NPM registry. Because I'm using PNPM, we can actually do workspace this to make sure that it resolves to the version that's in the workspace. And usually I like to just do it with a star here. So it's not resolving to any specific version. It's just resolving to the one that's in the workspace. Let's run pnpm install again because we've added another workspace, we've got more dependencies, we've got to make sure they're all installed and make sure everything's set up correctly. We now want to run everything locally to make sure that if we make a change inside our maths package, it's going to go into our app. Now here we've got a dev script inside turbo.json. That means that when we run dev, everything that has a dev script, that's going to be run in parallel. So luckily we already have one inside apt docs and we should have one inside packages maths too, which runs the build on a watch every time it changes. That means from root, I can run pnpm turbo run dev, and that is going to run the docs dev and the maths dev like at the same time in parallel. That means I can work on them both at the same time. Okay, so now on localhost 3001, I can see the source of my shame, this freaking minus one over here. And now in theory, I should be able to switch these over and minus this one and we fixed it. Three, we have fixed it. We should probably send this up to NPM to make sure that you know everybody else can take advantage of this new logic that I've put in my app. And I'm gonna run pnpm um, turbo run build and that's going to actually build the application ready for me to publish it. Next, I'm going to CD into Matpocket UK Maths and publish it itself. So I'll CD into packages maths and run npm publish. And in theory, that should send it live. There we go, pal, look at that. 0.0.4, only a few seconds ago, does not have a readme, but my God, it has a lot of value. We now need to make sure that we can deploy our new doc site onto the web. So what I've done is I've published my mono repo onto a public repository. We've got apps docs here ready to go. We just need to stick it on Vercel and then we're good. 
I've gone to vercel.com forward slash new and I'm going to import my mono repo from here. We can see that we immediately go onto this screen. I'll say, yeah, my mono repo is pretty good. The framework preset won't be set by default, but we can go into the root directory if we want to by going into apps docs. And that then means we can go and stick this on Next.js, which is our framework directory. On the build and output settings, I'm going to override this and I'm going to actually CD into the root directory and then run pmpm install. On the next one, I'm going to say the output directory is the Next.js default, which it is. In fact, sorry, I've put that in the wrong one. Inside here, I can say pmpm turbo run build. And that's pretty exciting. So I should be able to hit the deploy button and just go. Ah, yay, we got our new project. And if we go and click on it, zoom this boy in, we have our magical three that we have been searching for, finally. My shame is lifted. I think I can uh, rest now. So there we go, friends. In almost no time at all, we put together apps, docs, and then packages, maths, and we've got everything working as it should. We've got a deployed package inside here. We've got a deployed application and they're talking to each other and any changes that go into maths will immediately get reflected into apps docs as well. If you enjoyed this video, then do consider liking and subscribing and doing all that fun YouTube stuff. I'm gonna be posting a lot more on the Vassell channel and I can't wait to talk to you more.